Hi, <laughs> laying in here, my pug pillow. I'm sorry for the informal nature of uh, starting starting this out. Um, just me laying here in my pajamas. Um, I have had a ton going on this week with the animals, which I'm going to update you about while uh, going around and showing off some of the tanks and, and the animal babies and stuff. But um, first, I just wanted to say that the main purpose of making this video is it is my second call for questions. I would like your goldfish questions, please, please, please. Great questions are things that you don't know about, things that others don't, you think others don't know about. Um, if you're in a weird situation with a goldfish where like you have one and all you have to deal with is a 10 gallon tank, I have some advice on that. Um, so yeah, just really any kind of goldfish question you can think of. I do have one question kind of cued from last time I did this, which is about uh, what grooming means in goldfish, and uh, I'm excited to talk about that. Um, but I'd also love uh, a few of your questions, and uh, please leave them in the comments below, and I will also be sure to... Um, link everybody's videos or everybody's YouTube channels in my descriptions when I do that video so that folks can come find you all. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm laying down. I'm just so, I've been working so hard on the house and the pets today. I'm just, ooh, but I've, I have a lot of health issues right now. So just like, I just get a bunch of work done. Then I lay down for a little bit, then I get a bunch of work done. So, yeah, that's just kind of where we're at right now. <sighs> anyway, hi. Please comment with your goldfish questions so I can make another goldfish uh, frequently asked question video. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, film some of my tanks and give you guys a little catch up on what's been going on with all the animals in uh, my home, the Langden. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. So please, send me your goldfish questions. Uh, next part of this video is just going to be a little bit of an update on everything that's been going on with my pets. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that's interesting to everybody, and if you just want to ask a question, post away, and have a nice day. Um, this tank is part of my 40-gallon breeder stack, and, uh, you know, they're actually all doing really well, except for Dumbo Jumbo. This beautiful red cap around a high pepper. That's my dog. We hear her, right? She's like, me, 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 me. Pepper. Pepper. Sorry. So my red cap around seems to be having some floaty issues lately. Um... And I got to the point where I was thinking maybe she was egg-bound, and so I did try um, stimulating her to release eggs if she was egg-bound. Um, I don't know if that worked or not. Um, she has been doing really good the past few days. Um, I just I tried to stimulate her manually to get her to release her eggs, and then I also gave them some Epsom salt, which we all know works as a laxative for fishies, so I think she's doing okay now. I think she's okay, but um, I'm keeping an eye on her, and I uh, was dealing with that this week, but otherwise, these two tanks have been doing great.
So when I was going back and uh, watching over the last two parts for this video I shot, I realized that I am just like squinting and look so ridiculous in the intro of this video calling for goldfish questions. I am so sorry. I've been working on trying to be cute and appear in front of the camera more because um, I really like seeing who's behind the camera and getting to know everybody. Um, and I've been trying to be more personal and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I just, I was so tired when I filmed that. I look so silly. Anyway, this is my shrimp tank. It's a 10 gallon tank dedicated just to cherry red shrimp. And as you can see right now, I have tons and tons of baby cherry red shrimp on the back of the glass. I struggle with this tank some with these little, um, I forget what they're called. You can see them on the glass next to the baby shrimp though, those little like single shelled beans. Um, I struggle a lot with them because shrimp really thrive off of eating the film off of glass. And so I like to grow the um, algae and like the, the coating of the aquarium very well in here, but uh, those things also like to feed off that. So that's a struggle. I also struggle because at one point in time, I had this amazing idea to try to aquascape this tank with the long hair algae that was growing in one of my other tanks. It did not work out and now I am still trying to get the long haired algae out of my shrimp tank. It's all over. Um, but yeah, these are my cherry red shrimp and they have been doing good breeding. Um, some of these are from a local breeder and some of these are from uh, Rachel O'Leary and obviously many of these are from this tank because once you get your cherry red population stabilized they really are easy to breed and it is really fun to breed them and have them as pets. Um, some other updates from this week. Um, I am using your EM erythromycin uh, for internal and external parasites in my uh, guppy slash beginner's mistakes community uh, tank. It, uh, there's some kind of internal parasite I'm dealing with in that tank. Um, all of the other tanks are doing great, even in that tank. I have baby guppies, I have baby endlers, I have baby goodiets, I have baby shrimp. Everybody is breeding. Um, the dogs are good, Mr. Turtleson is good, Mephistopheles, the big black fat kitty cat is good. Um, I did have a foster guinea pig here. Um, I don't think I talked about it on this channel, but I did on my Instagram. And I did find a loving home for the guinea pig, which is sad, but also really good because he got to go to a home with other guinea pigs. And that's so, so important for guinea pigs. They're really not meant to be kept alone. My Degus are doing great. I am working on a video about them for you guys. And, um, I'm dealing with a lot of my own personal health issues, and, uh, I'm changing jobs, which is going to result in being jobless for a few weeks, which is kind of scary. Um, I depend on myself, and all these animals depend on me and, uh, friends and family, but I think it's going to be okay, um, because I'm going to come out of the other side healthy. I'm going to come out of the other side very healthy, and uh, hopefully I'll get to make some cool videos and update you a lot about my pets during that time. And yeah, so that is what has been going on at the Langden. That's what I call my house. Because my name is Langen, and Den, like, because animals live here. The Langden. Ha 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 ha. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody. Subscribe if you like videos on animals. Let me know if you have your own channel. 
that I can check out and comment leaving your goldfish question please also love your pets and they will love you back sometimes even make babies